What's up guys? Just want to give you an update on uh, my Zippo collection. These are you know, all the new Zippo stuff that I've gotten since uh, a little bit before Christmas. Some of these were gifts, some of these were um, brand new. As you can see the middle row here are the brand new ones that I got. And that's pretty much it. I, I should have just posted a video, or I will right after this one, on this um, Pennsylvania uh, Bicentennial Zippo. This one uh, I showed in a past video. And I had a question about it being authentic and all that, and I'm going to give you an update uh, in a separate video on that. So, the first thing I want to talk about is this thing hanging out on the top of it. This is a rose art, or at least used to be rose art. They're still marked like that, but they're actually sold by Zippo now. So, I don't know, maybe it's a collaboration, or maybe Zippo originally made them. Either way, they are display flames. Uh, you get a package of five here. They're not that expensive. It's like six or seven dollars for, for five of them. Um, and they're pretty cool. It's, its sole purpose is just as you see it here to display with the lighter open. Okay, obviously will not close. And all it does is it just squeezes down into the chimney portion of your Zippo. Now you will have to bend out your, your chimney just a tiny, tiny bit uh, to accommodate it. You can see it's just squared off in the bottom. And it goes in either way if you want to display it like this or if you want to flip it around you can do it like that. It really just depends on what you want. But uh, that's it, that's its only purpose, is just for display. But I keep both these lighters on top of my Zippo case, so I think it looks pretty cool like that. But anyway, you've seen that one before, you've seen this one before. This is the LA uh, police badge. You can see, we got Roman numeral 13, X111, and that's for 1997. So this lighter was made in 97. Now the same person that gave me this lighter, also gave me this one down here, which is also used. This one's really cool. It's got the brass insert. Heavy use on this one. This was someone's military uh, lighter. This one here on the bottom is non-canned. And if you don't know what canning is, you can see the top one. How most Zippos are is there's an indent on the base. That's a canned bottom, if you didn't already know that. And some models, they never did that indent on the bottom. Uh, some, you know, anniversary lighters, they did that. Uh, I think in 1982 they did that as well, another anniversary type thing, um, you know, because Zippos were invented in 1932, and so the 50-year mark they did that. But anyway, um, yeah, that's just the difference there. It's non-canned, and that is canned. So something else for all you Zippo nuts to, uh, to learn if you didn't already know. But this one also, Roman numeral 13 on this, so it was made in 1997. But what I really like about this is the design. You get a nice good focus on this. Strike Hard, Stripe Deep, Kilo Company. And if I get real close, you can see make it other stuff. BLT 3 slash 1, 11th MEU. Don't know what that, you know, how significant that is to any of you guys. I'm sure it's some kind of military thing, which I just don't know about. But really cool artwork on there. You got the skull with the wings and the you got a you know big fixed blade and a, it looks like a M4 or something behind it. Underneath you got the helicopters, the guy coming down on the uh, you know coming down on the ground there, and even it looks like a little bit of a jeep or something with a gunner on top. Anyway, really really cool military type thing. Uh, obviously custom made. This was not a Zippo. Um, this is not an original Zippo design from '97. I know that for a fact. So if someone had bought regular bronze Zippo, or, or excuse me, brass Zippo, and uh, had this engraving done on it, probably maybe a small order of them, maybe for the whole platoon or unit or whatever it was. But I thought that was really unique. I'm sure this lighter has lots of history. But anyway, this one I got uh, actually yesterday. I got to rub the fingerprints off this because this was a, a regular standard Zippo. And the person who sent this to me sent me a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I'd like to thank him very much. Uh, his name's Michael. He also lives in Pennsylvania. You know, he knows some of the stuff that he sent me. It's really cool. Um, but he does polishing. And he polished this up this uh, up himself. And he did an awesome job. Look at that American flag that is reflecting off my wall there. Just a superb job. And he, now the center here. Now originally he told me that this was uh, gold plated that he polished down. I was pretty sure that the gold plated models were marked in the bottom. So I'm not 100% on that. But either way... When he polished it, the center there, the chrome um, started to flake off a little. And you could see underneath the brass. And this is interesting because I wanted to explain, if you guys don't know, most Zippos are brass underneath. 
Um, this Zippo right here, that's brass underneath. You know, this one, brass. This one, obviously it's exposed brass, but there's no chrome on top. But, I mean, when you open a Zippo lighter, if you look on the inside of the lid here, you'll see the discoloration and the kind of goldish hue. That's because it's the unfinished brass. Chrome Zippos or polished Zippos, they have a layer on top of it to give the effect that they want. Uh, most Zippos are solid brass, though, the actual construction of the case. Um, of course, when you go back to certain years, some were stainless during the war. Obviously, brass was uh, used for uh, munitions. Of course, all the ammo factories need the brass, so Zippo switched over to stainless steel. Another very cool um, collectible Zippo is are the, the stainless ones from the wartime. But uh, anyway, just wanted to notice, you know, make that note. It's actually pretty cool. It flaked off. And most people think, like, oh, that's crappy. You know, it's, it looks like crap. It, to me, it looks like it's some kind of, like, design. I don't know. I like it, though. And I think he did a superb job doing this hand polishing work. Stupid fingerprints. But uh, he did an awesome, awesome job on it. So thank you, Michael. I really appreciate it. Um, next one here, we have the Porsche Turbo. Now, this Zippo here, we got the Roman numeral V3, which is 8. Hopefully you guys can see that. And this one's from 1992, by the, the uh, Roman numeral 8, I know that. And originally, you could see, it was cut out, and it looks like a gold color, because that's the brass, again, underneath. Um, but originally, this would have been colored, most likely red. Uh, a lot of the older Zippos are actually hand-painted, which is really unique. But when you find older ones, most of the time, you'll see it in kind of a brass color. That's because with the use over the years, it's just the paint rubs off. But pretty cool. Definite, definite awesome... Uh, have to Zippo if you're a Porsche fan or a Porsche owner. But anyway, very cool. I got a Slim here. It's the only Slim I got in a while. And if we look at the the base here, we'll see we have the script, the Zippo uh, logo in script. Uh, but also on the left there, the three dash or three lines straight up and down, and then the two on the right. And that shows me that this is from 1969. And what's really cool about this Zippo. It's, it's it's a mistake Zippo. It's kind of a, an oopsie, as uh, Zippo collectors call them. Um, if you notice, we have the hinge on the left here. And on all Zippos, looking at the front of it, the hinge on the left, when you turn straight to the bottom, everything should be right side up. What happened with this one is someone put the hinge on backwards. It's upside down. So originally, when this was at the factory... They just, you know, grab the parts out or whatever to put in the machine to put the hinge on, and this case actually just went backwards. No big deal. Doesn't, you know, affect the Zippo performing in any way whatsoever, but from a collector's standpoint, collectors like that kind of stuff. Little mistakes here and there. So this one was um, just put on backwards. Interesting. But anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. Now we have the new ones. The brand new ones, um, let's see... They were all gifts. Every single one of these was a gift. Um, right off the bat, I'll tell you that this one in the middle, this white one, this matte white one from, let's see, take a look at it, 2010, uh, I will be using for tricks when I do future videos, Zippo tricks. I love the matte white one. Uh, it's really, it's so cool. It's so simple to me. Obviously, it's not filled right now. By the way, again, we could see the brass in there. This one's just basically powder coated white. And some of the newer ones have the, uh, the, you know, they, when they do the coating or whatever kind of finish they have on it, on the bottom they always leave that bare to show the stamping and the markings on this. Again, you'll see there 2010. But anyway, um, I just like the white. It's just something about it. It's just different. Don't always see uh, white Zippos, you know. So definitely going to be one of my new Zippo Trick lighters. So you know who gave this to me. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Um, this one here has a guitar motif very cool this one's from 2008 and this one uh, came from Mike uh, looking for me marbles thank you so much you know I you know when you sent this to me it was just really cool it was totally unexpected but I really like that of course I don't play guitar that's one of those things I've always wanted to do never got around to doing it but uh, I definitely can appreciate music and I think this Zippo is awesome um, got three more Zippos to show you this one was sent to me for Christmas this is so, so cool. Um, this is the Human Silhouette Target Zippo. And this one's definitely for my collection. Of course, you guys know I'm into the gun stuff, so it's just really, really cool. 
and if I smoked I would take this to the range every single time and light up with it and, and get lots of compliments and people would you know ask where I got it and all that kind of stuff by the way here is the code for it in case you, in case you guys are interested you might be able to search for it that way if you like this one but really really cool really like that and that was also a gift thank you very much for the person who sent that to me and these last two obviously also <laughs> gun related this is the older model and this one here came from 2000, let's see, take a peek at it, 2010. And you can see on the front here, the artwork was done in 2005. And there's like the copyright for the artwork on this. But you can see it's kind of the, uh, the multiple bullet holes in the Zippo, which I think is pretty neat. This is the first one I saw that I really, really wanted. And then recently, like I said, this was made in 2008. Our design came out in 2008, and this one I believe was 2010. Let me just double check on this. Yeah, this is 2010. They did another one in the toffee kind of color, which is kind of a, a real shiny enamel. You can see that how the light picks up on that, as opposed to this matte black. See how the light's affecting that? But really cool, and in my opinion, a much more realistic bullet hole. And just a single bullet hole. But it's really cool. I like the color. It's that rich. Like I said, it's kind of like a bronzy, gold, orange. Really nice, though. And uh, just a quick look at it. It almost looks real. <laughs> like it actually could be a hole. Like I said, it's a little bit more realistic than the first one. But pretty neat. Um, so thank you to everyone who had you know sent me these gifts. Uh, and I, I'm certainly looking into new Zippos. It's not on my top priority. Uh, it's not my list of stuff that I really need to get done. You know, I'm constantly looking on eBay. eBay is such an awesome place to find uh, some old vintage Zippos. And, you know, there's so many people collecting them now. The prices, they're, they're definitely going up a little higher than they used to be a couple years ago. And there's some really cool Zippos. Like I said, I mean, if you like the history of Zippo and the different eras and stuff, just the wartime, the stainless steel ones, they're, they're really cool, but they start getting a lot of money. You know, another thing is the Japanese Zippos. I have yet to own a Japanese Zippo. Basically, I'll give you the short story of it. There's companies in Japan that they buy and license um, cases of Zippos from, you know, Zippo. There are genuine Zippo lighters, but they're all plain. They get sent out to Japan, and they do their own artwork on them, but they're still sold as Zippos, okay? They're not rip-offs or copies. They're genuine Zippos. They're just designs that are done in Japan that are not done here in the U.S., and they become highly sought after. If you look on eBay, they start anywhere from $75, and they go up to about $300. But some were really cool. Some were, like, 3D. They got emblems that are wrapping around the thing. I mean, they're just pretty neat. But anyway, those kind of Zippos, I'd love to own one too, but again, I mean, <laughs> when you when you grow up and you're an adult, you have responsibilities and, you know, I got to pay for food and it's just gas and all this stuff goes on and to spend $100 on a Zippo, it's just, like I said, it's not my top priority. My biggest problem is that I have too many hobbies and it's hard to say, all right, well, what am I going to do this time? I got a little bit of spending money. Do I buy a, a new gun? No, I don't have enough for that. Maybe I'll buy ammo. Well, how can I spend $80 on ammo when I can get an $80 knife? Hmm, $80 knife, huh? I could probably get two or three brand new Zippos. <laughs> you get where I'm going with that? It's For me, it's, it's such a hard choice. <laughs> when I do have a little bit of spare money, I try to save money, but with all my hobbies, it's almost impossible. It's crazy. But um, anyway, I will eventually start getting some more Zippos. Um, the good thing about Zippos is you don't always have to pay a lot. There could be a $7 Zippo that's beat to crap, and I could absolutely love it, and no one else is interested in it, and I can win on eBay, you know, so it doesn't always have to be expensive. But anyway, I just want to give you an update on that. I know a lot of people who watch my videos for Zippo stuff have been, uh, you know, lacking Zippo entertainment for a while, so I thought I'd just give you an update, and again, give this, you know, take a chance to say thank you again to all the people who have uh, sent some of these uh, Zippos as gifts to me. I really appreciate it. But that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.